Now I'm going to show you uh, my materials. That's a, a big thing about painting plein air. And the first thing I'll show you is my brushes. I have um, basically three style of brushes. This is a filbert. It's a nylon filbert and it's meant to sort of be between a sable and a bristle brush. It's got the softness of a sable but a little more spring uh, uh, sort of makes in between the bristle and the um, sable. This is a uh, flat here and this is a round and I often start the, the block in uh, phase with this round. It's a very useful brush and this is a smaller version. Um, it's a, called a Sablette and it's made by Utrecht and I use these a lot. They're very soft and, uh, and good for the final uh, uh, details and you can get a, a fine point and, and still get wide passages of uh, paint. Uh, the next thing will be my uh, palette, and you have to travel with a, a palette, um, and this uh, kind has a cover on it, and it comes off, and I keep my paint in there. You can see it's, it's well used, and, uh, but it, the thing is that it protects the, uh, the paint and keeps it uh, wet while you're traveling, and it fits in my, uh, my carrying case. I have to wipe my hands off here. I got a little paint on in there. And uh, people often ask me how I get paints um, back, and I use this portfolio to carry a lot of my supplies in. Sometimes I take watercolors and pastels and manage to fit everything in there. But when a painting is uh, done, I often just carry it back to uh, wherever I'm staying, my hotel or uh, uh, the, the house that I'm staying in. And um, But I've had varying kinds of uh, portfolios. I made one out of canvas that was thick, and it had a um, foam core case that I could put the, um, the raw, uh, I would work on paper and I could put the paper down in there. So I would take paper and coat it with gesso. So it's good to have a, a case like that. Uh, this um, device here is uh, really essential too. It's a canister for taking your uh, uh, solvents and you really need these and they, uh, it seals uh, airtight or uh, watertight, solvent tight with these clasp and they come in a, a couple of different sizes. This is a large one for studio use but this one here in my right hand is uh, what I usually take and it fits in that portfolio and then it will fit on top of my easel so this is really essential to have. And um, the next thing that I'm going to talk about um, will be the, um, the easels. And I've never traveled with, with one of these. This is a traditional French easel, but many painters do. This is the full size. It all comes in a half size, which is about, about that thickness. And they're, uh, it's a, a less, uh, less weight. But um, these are rather bulky. And the disadvantage of them is that they take a, a long time to set up, like 15 or 20 minutes. And for plein air painting, one of the um, uh, essential parts is a kind of seizing the moment <clears throat> you'll be traveling around and you'll see a condition of light which you want to capture and you don't want to spend 15 or 20 minutes doing the, uh, the setup. So this easel that I've been using for several years and you'll see me using it in the video clips is by Soltec and I kind of consider it the uh, Ferrari of, <laughs> of uh, uh, traveling easels. It has a nice strap on it and uh, it's easy to carry and you can see that it's quite a bit thinner and it weighs quite a bit less. You just put it around my shoulder and, uh, and carry it uh, like that. And it sets up, the, the uh, uh, literature says it sets up in 20 seconds. It may not be quite that fast, but I can be painting within minutes after seeing a scene. So uh, you'll see it set up in the various um, clips later in the, um, later in the presentation. So um, I think that's uh, basically what I wanted to cover in the, um, in this initial introduction, so uh, uh, now we'll get started with some um, some demonstrations. Thank you.